All right, we're going to look at a clip today from Timothy Dixon as he continues his ongoing public adoration of Robert Bullock. This clip is very telling as this man is absolutely obsessed with Tombstone. And we're going to play the latest clip from him and we'll examine it. But first, I want to take you on a short trip down memory lane. Now, in this clip from the past, Timothy's going to tell you one of his dreams. He's preaching at Bullock's church. And so this is where he told the world and anyone who would listen about his, well, let's just say it's a rated M for mature fantasy dream where apparently he and Robin were walking together through heaven and both of them are buck naked. Me and Robin walked through the, in this dream, we'd walk through the courts of glory. You think I could tell? The fool. Some of this, uh, I'm going to tell it anyway. I'm asking you to keep your minds pure, but I'm going to tell it. Me and Robin was walking through heaven. We had entered into the courts and we had no clothes on. None. And we was coming before the Lord bare. And then when it changed, Robin had a camel's, like a, a vest that wrapped around him. It didn't girdle about his waist, but it wrapped around his neck. Now this man, in his so-called dream, he told the world that both he and Tombstone were buck naked, walking shamefully in the holiest of holies. Is that disturbing? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. But the freakiest part was at the end, where he, in his dream, had Robin in a camel skin vest, but nothing else. Robin was still naked from the waist down. Good grief. Now, did anything ever come from this so-called prophetic dream? Well, no, of course not. Not unless you count the hundreds of thousands of viewers who were forced to paint mental pictures of two old men waddling together, buck naked through heaven. Just ugh. Now, you think that Timothy here would just learn to stop talking about Robin, but here's the thing. He can't. This man absolutely adores Robin Bullock. Robin is this man's hero. Now, this next clip from just a couple of days ago, he was preaching at some church, I'm not sure who. It's not nearly as disturbing as the one you just watched, but it is very telling. And it's really going to, yet again, prove to you that these false prophets really don't speak for God. They speak from the vain imaginations of their own hearts. They have their own agenda, but mo most importantly, it, it scripturally proves that Mr. Dixon is biblically wrong. Now, note over here, uh, what you're seeing here is the transcript. So you can follow along as Timothy speaks in this short clip, and we'll comment afterwards. Robin Bullock. Robin Bullock, the Lord sends you a word. There's a new anointing that has fell on you since Mount Carmel in Israel. Something that you did not expect. You feel a power on the inside you've never known. It's going to bust out of you and cause you to do things you've never done under the power of the Holy Ghost. And he's going to make all of your enemies bust under your feet.
All right, so we're going to go over this alleged word from God. Over here, we've got the transcript. We're just going to go word for word. We're going to break it down, and then I'll uh, show you what I want to show you. So uh, Timothy says, uh, the Lord says, Robin Bullock, Robin Bullock, the Lord sends you a word. Guess what? There's a new anointing that has fell on you since Mount Carmel in Israel. What? What's that all about? Well, here's what happened. This is a video I did a couple of days ago. And uh, this is from Robin Bullock's adventure to Mount Carmel in Israel. And you can see this man is putting on a show. He's on the top of Mount Carmel. Hair scrunchies in place. He's got his wizard stick, leather jacket, all the props of what he needs to do his theater. He's entertaining not only the group that's touring with him there, but also thousands and thousands and thousands worldwide as he made sure to get this on video from three different angles. So it's definitely a production. Well, what happened was Timothy saw this. And Timothy just, oh my goodness, he got all frenzied up and he got the goosey goosebumps and the tingly tingles. And he said, my goodness, there's my hero. He's up on Mount Carmel. Why am I not with him? Nevertheless, Timothy was inspired to no end. So what did Timothy do? He says, well, I've got to get in on this. I've got to do a video. I've got to make myself a part of this. Maybe I can get back into the good graces of my hero. So Timothy come up with this new word. And it's very disturbing. And again, we're doing this because we want to stand in opposition. They're both false prophets. That's how you know that Robin doesn't even believe this. Robin knows that this is a scam. It's not an actual word. Now, the part that really disturbs me is right here. Right here, he says, well, let, me, let me slide this down a little bit. He says, and it's going to make all of your enemies a nest under your feet. It's going to make all of your enemies, I think it's supposed to be rest under your feet. I don't know if you said nest or rest, but it doesn't matter. What he's done here is he's grabbed Psalms 110, and he's trying to apply this to his Messiah, which is Robin Bullock. This is messianic wordage. This is for Jesus and no human. But Timothy, in his biblical illiteracy, thinks that this applies to a human, that of Robin Bullock. And it's blasphemous. And it's so very disturbing. This man cannot control his public adoration of Robin Bullock. So what I did was I found this article over here on God Questions. And so, now I got, God Questions is not gospel, but it, I think this explains it the best. I'm just trying to make this as easy as I can. But look at the title there. What does it mean that God will make our enemies a footstool? Here's Psalms, uh, Psalm 110. And just bear with me here. Psalm 110 reads of David a psalm. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. But who is this Lord the Lord speaks to? Is it meant to pertain to us? Like this verses must be read in their context. And you can read this article. It's really good. And as they come to the end here and they summarize, look what it says here. Since the promise of Psalm 110, what is not for us, we must look at how we as believers are to relate to our enemies. A couple of verses cited here. Luke 6, 27 and 28, Jesus says, Love your enemies. Do good to those that hate you. Bless those that curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Romans 12, 9 talks about, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. But watch this. This sentence right here really, really nails it. We are promised to overcome by faith. And it cites 1 John 5, 4. The punishment of our enemies will come in God's time and in God's way. Anyone who sins is ultimately sinning against God. Watch this. And the enemies of God will be placed under the feet of Robin Bullock? No. 
under the feet of Jesus. So when you get a guy like Timothy Dixon, again, applying messianic attributes to a human, much less a, an actual confirmed false prophet like Robert Bullock, it is disturbing beyond measure. It really is. This man cannot control himself. Again, it is disturbing. And one more thing. What enemies is Timothy Dixon talking about? Well, I'm sure I've got to be one of them. And the others who have done videos on Robin Bullock. This is what he's talking about. Can you imagine how shallow this sounds? Social media enemies. This is what Timothy Dixon is talking about. How do you know it's social media enemies? Well, have you seen Robin in prison? Have you seen him flogged? Have you seen him whipped or beaten or stoned? Persecuted in any other way other than somebody basically making a video standing in opposition of him? These are his perceived alleged enemies. It is laughably absurd. But yes, this is what Timothy's talking about. Why? Well, Timothy can't stand being called out. And Timothy really, even more so, I would say, because he's so in love with Robin Bullock, he can't stand to see Robin Bullock get called out. How dare you? Oh, Robin, don't worry. I've got a word coming for you. So in the first part of his alleged word, he's flattering Robin, sucking up to him. And then second part of his alleged word, he says, don't worry, your enemies are going to be under your feet because you're, you're almost messianic, Robin. To, to, to uh, Timothy Dixon, he's messianic. Timothy Dixon has called Robin Bullock, John the Baptist, Elijah, Moses, all these, all the great men of the Bible. So very disturbing. And I just wanted to bring this to your attention because we push back against the false prophets. They make their livings lying in the name of Jesus Christ. They make their livings scamming gullible and simple people while they become multimillionaires doing it, putting on a show. So we want to stand in opposition, and we want to let people know that there's a real gospel out there. And we want people to serve Jesus in truth and sincerity according to the word of God. We were warned about false prophets, and here they are. So we want to make sure that we, uh, again, oppose them when they come out publicly and make hundreds and hundreds of videos portraying themselves to be great ones when, in fact, they are the very opposite. They are the ones that Jesus warned you about. So I think we'll wrap it up right there. And uh, for those of you that love Jesus in truth and sincerity, God bless you.